Hey, what's up, guys? This is Hackison. I have came back with an extraordinary audio. Uh, sorry, extra extraordinary video today. Uh, today we gonna see about uh, how to import Kali Linux directly into a VMware. Okay, VMware or Virtual Box. Because uh, if you install Kali Linux into your Virtual Box or a VMware, it it might ask uh, some lots of configuration to do do that. So, okay, but uh, our Kali Linux uh, th that is our offensive security who is providing Kali Linux has. Um, configured as a has some uh, pre-configured operating systems that is a pre-configured Kali Linux systems okay uh, available in the offensive security website and today we gonna see about that only how to easily import Kali Linux uh, into a VMware or a virtual box uh, and use it okay I think uh, basically installation of uh, virtual box is, uh, is pretty easy okay when compared with the uh, VMware and it is free also so everyone can uh, easily install it and uh, now I'm going to official website of uh, offensive security okay um, I gonna type Kali custom images okay Kali Linux custom images and just uh, I, I will provide this link in the description so that you can use it, use it easily okay uh, here you can see that um, there are three options available of uh, the one is um, first one is VMware images the second one is virtual box images and the third one is hyper 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 V images basically you all use um, virtual box okay because virtual box is uh, lighter than VMware and it is easy it is somewhat user friendly when compared with VMware okay um, so that uh, I'm going to download this okay already I have downloaded it um, so that I, I, I could uh, provide you this the link in the description so that you can download it uh, if you are using VMware then go with this option and I am using virtual box so I am going with this option okay um, okay I, I, I will advise you to go with torrent download because uh, torrent download is uh, pretty easier when compared with uh, the normal download okay uh, it's up to you to use both of these are uh, whether you can use a uh, torrent download or a normal download okay it's up to you up to you so uh, there is no problem in that so okay i'm using i'm just clicking the torrent download and opening with the opening the torrent download and completing i have completed the uh, download okay so i'm just opening my yeah okay here you could see that uh, virtual box okay virtual box images that I have downloaded previously okay uh, now let's see about how to import it into your virtual box uh, sorry uh, yeah virtual box or a virtual machine okay in VMware you go you can see option like open custom image like that or open open a VMware machine like that option will be available uh, at, at the on the right side of the create new virtual machine okay and uh, to the next of uh, create virtual machine you will find an option like uh, open a virtual machine okay in VMware uh, VMware users uh, watch it carefully go to the file and click on import appliances and you have to choose it okay and uh, just uh, go to the precise folder where you have kept where you have downloaded this virtual box okay um you have loaded it click next and in this uh, option you can configure anything you want you can increase the uh, cpu core and um, you can in increase the ram size also okay uh, and click after that click import okay it will take some app five minutes around five minutes to complete the importing okay so that I gonna pause my video till that okay guys uh, the import is, has been completed and this was the imported Kali Linux okay um, just uh, before starting this you have to disable the USB 
in okay usb in this kali linux okay because uh, it might get error in virtual box this is only for the virtual box users okay you can enable it after installing this uh, after opening the kali linux okay i uh, just click it and uh, go to the settings and before that i will show you the error okay um it might get some error previously i have got it so that only i am doing this okay let's see what's happening it's yep uh, okay uh, i have got the error okay just click it okay and uh, uh, you don't get panic uh, it's just a simple error okay select the imported kali linux and go for go to the settings and click on usb and disable the usb controller option okay and click on okay and next you open it okay uh, now the kali linux will open perfectly and the default every i think everyone would know that uh, the default username and password of kali linux is for this custom os is um, tour uh, root username is root and password is tour okay yeah it might take some time to complete still that uh, you have to wait for um, some five minutes Okay, guys. Uh, before that, uh, in the meantime, I would uh, like to tell you that if you want to learn Kali Linux personally, uh, just use Fever. Okay, uh, just use Fever. I will provide you the Fever link in the description below, and you can personally interact with me and get lifetime support, and you can learn ethical hacking. Okay, through Fever. And if you have any doubts regarding this, you can post it on the comment box and I will be answering, I will be replying you as soon as possible. Okay, the username is uh, root and the password is T-O-O-R, tour. Okay, you have to upside down the root, the name root. Okay, so that, that is the password of Kali Linux. Okay guys it will it's loading basically um for the first time it would take like this time this much time but from the next time itself it will automatically will be very fast even better okay uh, you have got it okay just uh, we go for the full screen mode yeah have you seen this okay uh that's it guys um that's all for today if you have any doubts please please post it uh, in the comment box and uh, your uh, awesome reviews are uh, welcome okay if you want to give you give me some reviews you can also ca comment in the box and if you want me to suggest anything also you can comment it in the box comment box so that i will like to i, I will be replying you as app okay so thank you guys thanks for watching keep supporting us like our page and share our page and uh, share our videos and for more uh, more tutorials uh, please go for hackison.com okay it's a website it's a new website which has been started by us okay thank you